they need to deal with the challenges that uh, anybody using strong encryption presents. I think you've probably seen the reports that indicate that uh, thus far there are no uh, significant evidences of the use of strong encryption in the recent uh, terrorist attacks. Uh, and it's clear that Osama bin Laden, who has his own uh, software, uh, access to his own software technology, is not using this, but rather other technology, uh, steganography and other things are being used. So I think that's the last word I would leave with you. Osama bin Laden is not going to escrow his keys. Law-abiding citizens will and will be more vulnerable to attack if that takes place. So I urge you, if you see this pop up on the House side, uh, to help us. Uh, so far, we've been very successful with the cooperation of the Judiciary Committee and others uh, in not attempting to resurrect something that we achieved consensus on a couple of years ago. But in the Senate, for those of you who are representing Senate staffs, I urge you to take a look at this. This is not security versus privacy. This is a major national security threat, and I would strongly discourage those who are intent upon uh, promoting mandatory key escrow or key recovery. Thank you very much for letting me join you today. Next, I'd like to introduce...